universe is where we all live in. And in fact, that is a very intriguing link to the universe and timekeeping for perpetual calendars, moon phase, indication, and so on. Since I'm born, I have a very vertiginous feeling of standing on a, on a sphere. And uh, yeah, that's where I came from, that I started modeling or building little planets, little constellations uh, to just research this for myself. A watch is a micro-universe. Um, and in the case of the Richard Langer Perpetual Calendar Terra Luna, we combined not only the micro-universe of all the gears and the trains and the wheels, we also gave what most people see as universe, the star sky, the moon face, and the Earth seen from the North Pole. First thing I do is darken out the whole space. So as a visitor, when you enter this installation, you actually don't have any uh, physical connection to the space. You don't see your fingers anymore. And the only real thing you can identify with is the sphere, is the planet. We're in a very kind of open, open field of scalelessness. We knew we had to do something on the back of the watch. And then we came up with the idea of an orbital moon phase, taking the position of the balance wheel being the sun. So you not only have an orbital moon phase, but you also could read day and night indication. That is our way to translate the universe on your wrist. To develop the piece uh, took me all my life, really. Uh, to develop this piece technically, uh, it takes a while to actually pour the concrete into these cars to develop some sort of uh, method so you don't see the actual pouring or to kind of establish the perfect sphere. And then it's, it's a matter of installing the light and darkening the space. Uh, so it really depends also on where I install this piece. What we do is modeling the universe to create these works of art. 